fixed our starship. We're going to Rena. Excellent. But I want to make one thing clear. We're doing this for ourselves, to protect what matters to us. We're not doing it for your sake, or because you told us to. Remember that. It matters little to me. The end result shall be the same. Repair work on your starship has commenced. You'll have to wait until it's finished. Man, is it too much to ask for Hevrick 35 to talk like a normal person? I swear I can feel my brain starting to fry after listening to all that complicated stuff. Don't worry. I think we're mostly done with him. Now all we have to do is rest up and wait. Once the Fall Knights is good to go again, we'll be taking off for Rena right away. Got another cutscene though, another skit. Is the Renis Alma really our only hope against the Great Spirit? There has to be another way, right? Shion's Fire Master Core was able to suppress astral energy to prevent it from gaining sentience, right? Couldn't we make use of that somehow? I'm not sure. In small doses, maybe. But with the amount of energy we're talking about here. Back in Calaglia, the Blazing Sword was able to take in a whole spirit vessel's worth of energy. If it has the capacity to manage that, it can do this, right? Except after it absorbed the energy, it ended up releasing it all moments later, remember? Let's not forget, it nearly killed you. Besides, this is the great spirit we're talking about, not a paltry vessel. Even if I could use the Master Core, your body wouldn't be able to take the strain of channeling that much energy. Hevrek 35 didn't mention it, and it did not seem the type to skimp on details. So assuming it's even possible, the chances are slim to none. Hey, Dr. Crew. Probably right. <clears throat> We're cooking beans and sausages for lunch. Very nice. Let me, um, guess we're going down here. She looks like the Red Woman. It'll take some time to completely repair your starship. I suggest that you all get some rest in the interim. So I rest them. More movies. You still thinking about what the scientists told us? About where Renans really come from? I am, but not for myself. You're worried about the future of the Renan people. The fact that our people have been the same this whole time will only give the Danans further reason to resent us. But you still intend to confront this truth head on, don't you? Well, I did declare that I would live my life for the living and not the dead. Even as I dream of retirement, I shall remain dedicated to the cause. I'm sure you'll do great. Now that I think about it, I don't believe I've ever heard you criticize or reproach us Renans even once. I'm no saint. I have skeletons in my closet too. There was definitely a time when I hated Renans for who they were. I hated them just for being Renan. But you changed that, Dohalim. You gave me an opportunity to see them in a different light. Thanks to your reforms, we were able to stand next to Renans, not as slaves, but as equals for the first time in our lives. Of course, I'm sure there were some Renans who still hated us on the inside. But we knew that not all of you were like that. There were those of you who were good. And that was a start. When it comes down to it, Renans are just people. They can be good or bad, just like Danans. That is, in essence, the heart of your approach, isn't it? That we're all people. Yeah, it is. When you can pull someone aside and talk to them one on one, then you have the chance to come to an understanding. But as soon as you stereotype, that chance goes away, and you stop thinking of them as people that you can relate to. I understand what you're saying, but we're talking about massive numbers of Renans and Danans alike. Realistically speaking, surely they won't all be able to get along. 
Even if we end up butting heads with one person, maybe we'll find better luck among their friends. If we can build a society that works like that, that'll be something worth nurturing and protecting. So you wish for people to form real bonds and do away with the hierarchy outright? To deal with one another as humans and nothing more? That's the ideal future you hope to see when this is all over? Yes, I do. I think it would make for a fine tribute to my brother's legacy. Though, that said, I would be doing it for the people of the future first and foremost. Do you still plan to return to Lenigus when this is over? Indeed I do. I don't know whether I'll be able to reside in Lenigus proper, however. My first order of business may be to find somewhere to live. You'll always have a home in Menencia, you know. <laughs> As I shall ever keep in mind. Well, if you ever need a helping hand, don't hesitate to come get me. I'll always be there for you, Doe. Doe? Oh. Did you just... What? <laughs> Never mind. Thank you, Kisara. Hey, Globula. Good luck on the draw. I appreciate your patience as I work all this out. Don't even mention it. And really, when you think about it, now that we know the two of us aren't so different after all, don't you think that brings down a barrier that used to be between us? How are you today? You know, I hadn't actually thought of it that way before. <laughs> but I do like the sound of it. Yeah, I think I do too. It's been just almost continuous cutscenes for the last couple of hours, isn't it? <laughs> hey, why'd you call me here? Was there something you wanted to talk about? Well, if everything we've heard about the Great Spirit is true, then we're getting close to our final battle. So I wanted to apologize while I can. Apologize? For what? I was being real stupid before, about whether Dana's will had been controlling us and all that. I get why you're angry now. Anybody would be if something they trusted was being questioned. So, I'm sorry, Runwell. Really. I should have kept my mouth shut. No, Law. Honestly, I think you might have been onto something. Of course you were worried. You were going to play multiplayer Subnautica. I found out there might be some invisible force pulling our strings this whole time. This is why I don't like using mods in games. But you... You really trust Dana's will, don't you? Is it because you can sense it a lot more than the rest of us? Because Very relaxing for the streamer, it is. I have to watch yeah, I don't fall asleep. <laughs> I think that might be part of it. But I think... I also want to believe it's good. Believe? Remember how I used to really resent coming from a family of mages? Yeah, of course. Because you were always on the run and had to live in hiding. Hey, Ketmas. Good morning. When we rescued Zephyr and... And I finally decided to come along with you all. Something changed inside me. It was the first time I felt like my powers had any meaning. Even if that meaning was only helping you guys fight. Then, when I felt Dana's will... I was overwhelmed by how vast and warm it was. It made me want to believe my powers were made to connect with it. It made me believe I had a bigger purpose. So that's why you hope it doesn't turn out to be bad. You almost need it to be kind. Yeah. You're one pencil away from the drawer, yeah? <laughs> well, all right. Then I promise I'll lay off bad-mouthing it. You will? There's no way for me to know for sure one way or the other, right? But you trust it, Rinwell, and that's enough for me. So I'll trust it because you do. Uh, remember what I said about neither planet's great spirit reaching us here? Hmm? Yeah? That's not quite true. I can feel just a little bit of Rena's... Make an omelet. And everyone nice. Else. Uh, you... what? I sensed it when we first got here. It's a really small amount, so it doesn't feel like it has a will of its own. But I think that's how Dana's energy probably is, too. 
Yeah, I've started putting a few herbs in my omelets as well. Each of us? It definitely makes a difference. In a way, doesn't that mean we're all Dan as well? What? Well, like you said, unless Dana's energy comes together, it has no will. So if we all have a little bit of Dana's astral energy inside us... Yeah, maybe... Heifer 35 might know the answer. But, you know what? I don't need to ask it. My will is my own. I fight for who I want to fight for. That's who I am now. Who I've become. I haven't made a Japanese pancake roll, for, uh, so, uh, well, omelette roll for a while. Ah. To be honest, the only reason I was suspicious of Dana's will, well, I mean, it mostly was, I feel like you and I had grown apart lately, and I was worried it was because... Huh? Uh, never mind. <clears throat> Nothing. Just forget about it. Huh? Uh, no. What were you saying? Saying? I don't remember Come saying on. anything. Now you won't tell me what you were no, thinking? No, that's not what I'm saying. Then spit it out already. Um... Uh... <laughs> 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 I bought myself a, a Tamagoyaki um, omelette pan a while ago. I have used it a few times. You they came out pretty good. Some rest? I can't. I've got too much on my mind. Especially knowing how close our last battle is. How are you doing, Xion? Same as you. Still trying to absorb everything. Remember when it was so simple, we were only fighting all the lords on Dana? <laughs> all of that feels like a lifetime ago, doesn't it? Ages and ages ago. Everything that's happened since we first met. So many fights, so much chaos, so many wonderful people. If I hadn't run into you that day, well, I wouldn't have met all of you. I never would have held the blazing sword or looked for something more. I wouldn't have my memories back. I'd still be a faceless slave, like as not long dead. Hey, Alfin. I want you to promise me something. Yeah? If we can't find the Renis Alma, there's something I want you to do. Like Hevrecht 35 said, the only way we can end the Great Spirit for good is to go after both the main body in Rena and the thorns in me. I need you to promise me, Alfin, that if for some reason we can't get the Renis Alma back, you'll use the Blazing Sword to destroy the Great Spirit, and me along with it. Huh? It's true the Blazing Sword may not have the strength of the Renis Alma, but it's taken us this far. It's slain lords and beasts. At the very least, it has to be worth a try. You can't be serious. Have you forgotten everything Listen, that we... the Great Spirit isn't just our problem. It's a threat to our entire world. Renans and Danans alike. We don't know what's going to happen when we face it, but we need to be prepared for anything. We can't second-guess ourselves when the time comes. I promise you, I'm not planning on going anywhere. I'm prepared to fight with absolutely everything I've got. But if it comes down to it, I need you to be prepared too. You should know that I'm not going to give up on you, Xion. I'm going to fight this until the very end. I 
hope you can forgive me for that. Alvin. Okay, I understand. And I'll forgive you. <sighs> Thank you, Xion. So it's a promise then? Yeah, it's a promise. I remember how I felt the first time you touched me. Hmm? My thorns made any contact a mistake no one would ever make twice. After they'd seen what could happen, fear would always linger behind their eyes. In my entire life, I never had someone willingly reach out to me. But when you reached out to me and gently took my hand, you didn't react at all. It was so easy for you. I don't have words for the shock I felt in that moment. That's because I couldn't feel pain back then. Even once you could, though, you still chose to keep reaching out to me. And when you did, I felt this warmth that I had never known before. But still... I hate having to see you suffer through it every time you do. You won't have to worry about that for much longer. You think so? I do, because I... Shion, I, uh... No. You can tell me once my thorns are gone. <laughs> okay? <laughs> yeah. We're gonna get to do end something now. No, another another movie. Everybody okay. get enough rest. We ready for this? Yeah, we should probably get moving. Agreed. Can't stand around waiting all day. Our task is relatively straightforward. We need only to send down to Rena, defeat the Great Spirit, and restore stability to both worlds. We're fighting Easy. for a new future for both Dana and Rena. Right. <coughs> We've come this far. We will save our worlds. That's a promise. Then let's go, everybody. We've got one. Yeah, more talky talky. Repairs on your starship are complete. Everything is in working order. Is that you, Hevrek 35? You can see us from where you are? I can. I can see anywhere within the bounds of Dake Faisal. Sounds like someone's a peeping Tom. Maybe we should give Hevrek 35 a break. <laughs> they do, don't they? In this tiny facility for a very, very long time. I have unlocked all functions on your starship. You can now make use of its warp drive. Oh. Warp drive? Wait, you mean like what the Red Women used on us? What brought us here? It's possible that the Red Women may have found a way to activate it on the starship. They are Helganquil, after all. Using the warp drive, you should be able to breach Rena's atmosphere without being... Good luck, Ketmus. Wait, should? You'll need to be careful. Due to the force field surrounding Rena, the ship will be unable to go any further than the surface of the planet. So, once we reach the shell, it appears we'll have to infiltrate the core by foot. Understood. We gotta go all the way down just... walking? <laughs> will all the Helganquil go back to normal once we defeat the Great Spirit? I have a strange feeling we're going to have to fight them before this is all over. The extinction of my people is inevitable at this stage. As such, it would be illogical to risk the success of the mission in a vain attempt to save my kind. Hmm. We understand. Can't that thing lighten up a bit? Everything it says seems to be about what's illogical. Well, come on, Doe. Hi, Baran. Hold up. Did you just... You heard the lady. Get going. I have one last question. What? As Sovereign, your identification I... number indicates that you are well past your predicted life expectancy. 
Similarly, the maiden lacks any identification number, as her function should have been rendered unnecessary. Despite this, the two of you continue to exist. Why? exists because others have entrusted this to us. Over the years, many people have come together and sworn to see this through to the end. You mean it is because of multiple chance interactions? The likelihood of such events is statistically improbable. Why have you two continued to persist under these conditions? It's hard to explain. To be honest, I don't think it's something an observer could understand. All right. Hey, coming up. Get back on the fall nights. No, no stomping on the keyboard. That's it. Good boy. There we go. Yeah, that's the microphone. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Club Lat. It should do it. Did I not? Oh. Have I not set the permissions correctly on that command? I will change that later. Or else it's just not working. Oh, it doesn't want to do it. Why does it not want to do it today? It did it earlier. <laughs> oh well. Barn is here. Okay. There we go. Look, what's up here? Look. Look, what's up this way? Look, there. I don't have anything. You want that treat? It's stomping on the keyboard again. Yeah. Okay. That okay? Can I take your paw off the keyboard? That's it. Oh, wait. Oh, my controller switched off again. There were so many cutscenes, my controller switched off. <laughs> he does, doesn't he? His um, his full name. Is Baron Humbert von Gickingen. Um which if you know your Studio Ghibli films. Oh, let's go back down to here. Are you gonna lie there, yeah? Right, no pressing must Stream deck this time. Great name choice, yeah. <laughs> See when we went to register when we went to pick him up from where we we were rehoming him. I had the right I had it written down because I knew they wouldn't be able to spell it. <laughs> when they were putting it on as um registering it for the microchip. So yeah. It would appear that our Helganquil host really has fulfilled its end of the bargain. You know what that means. Time to go to Rena. I guess this means we should give that warp drive a spin. I wonder why the barn command's not working. It was working earlier.
Looks a bit desolate. There's nothing here. This weird ocean we're surrounded by just stretches out everywhere. Is this really where the Helganquil come from? I don't sense even a trace of astral energy. This world is dead. Then this must be the hollowing. You mean to tell me this whole world, the entire ocean is that stuff? And it's covering everything, the entire planet. This is what the Great Spirit does. After it depleted this planet of every last speck of astral energy, it went after Dana. So arresting, this world of doom. Back in its day, Rena was probably just as vibrant as Dana is. But after being robbed of its astral energy for so long, those days are gone and past. This is all that will remain. So the Great Spirit took everything. It stole energy not just from living beings, but the land, the sea, everything. And it bound the Helganquil in servitude until their whole world was nothing but this. And by the looks of it, that's how it remains to this day. A world of death and emptiness. With nothing left here to consume, the Great Spirit turned its sights on Dana, looking for another host. You're saying if we don't stop it, this is what Dan is going to look like? We can be sure that even these few remaining remnants of Ren and life will not be spared in the end. If the oblivion and darkness both Xion and Naori saw comes to pass, nothing will survive. It looks like we can climb down from there. Let's take a look. The destroyed remnants of Rena. So this is. Yeah, this is Rena. Rena, this is where everything began. Yet it's a dead world. I won't let Dana suffer the same fate, ever. Hollowed ocean as far as the eye can see. What do you think would happen if we fell in? What do you mean, what would happen? You'd drown, wouldn't you? Come to think of it, I don't believe I've heard of someone ever trying. Perhaps you'd like the glory of being the first? Nah, I'll pass. This is essentially a world sized Renan graveyard. Are you proposing to disturb the dead slumber just to satisfy your curiosity, Law? No, because I said I passed. Taking an interest is understandable, but let's not forget where we are. This place deserves our respect. Looks like we're not going to be hearing the end of this one for a while. You think I was already snorkeling in it or something? Let's do another skit. So the idea is to seal the great spirit inside the Renis Alma using the Sovereign and Maiden's power. But just how do we do that exactly? I'm guessing it won't be as easy as holding a spirit channeling ceremony at our leisure. I already had wielded astral energy once three centuries ago. As for suppressing her thorns, Xion's had a lifetime's experience. The problem isn't just our enemy's strength, it's that it's sentient too. And you can bet anything you like, it's not going to just sit back and let us destroy it. In other words, we need to find some way to weaken it in advance. The Great Spirit, that is. Back when Xion's thorns flew out of control, hey, we were able to deal with them directly. If this is their host, how are you this fine Saturday? Here. If that's the case, it should make them easier to attack at least. I'm and if we can manage oh. to divert enough energy away from the spirit's <laughs> core, this is even temporarily, we might good luck in the draw. Enough to steal the Renesalma, <laughs> which we can then use to seal it away forever. It won't be easy, <laughs> but it's our only shot. Time to buckle up. How, how would I know? How are you this fine day? It's like a gnome bandit. <laughs> I'm restless. 
I'm sorry. Question I'm sorry. for you. Let's say You're doing well. Knock on wood. Everything turns out for the A little best. nervous? What will the world be like? Is that what, what are you mean? nervous about? Yeah, I mean, at the end of this, do you really think everything will be that different? A lot will have to change, that's for sure. The world will have to adjust to so much. My only worry is if those changes ah, turn out to be yes. really skin deep. What do you mean? It's well and good putting an end to Ren and Rule. Yes, it's uh, Mitchell's it affiliate anniversary. That's true. Just as bad if the Danans start oppressing their own. Renans, Danans. As How many years is it, um, Mitchell? The world is full of labels used to divide and separate people. If only we could see differences like that for what they are. Two years. How different is someone having a musical talent or being good with their hands. Not differences so much oh. as character. Happy I feel it anniversary. We'll take someone in power to set an example. I'm sure it'll go Time, well. People will follow. And then, perhaps one day, there will no longer be any need for the example. It will have become second nature. That's where we come in. We can set the example. Imagine it. A world where magic and astral arts are used to help people. Where that's the norm rather than the exception. Yeah, you're right, Rinwell. Why wait for somebody else? We can show just, them ourselves. Just make sure you're not playing something that's got lots of cutscenes, in case you nod off. <laughs> I remember the last JRPG I was playing, I think it was the last one. Was it Xenoblade Chronicles? There was, there was a bit where there was masses of cutscenes. I hadn't slept very well the night before. And I did actually nod very briefly. It was maybe like four or five seconds I nodded off. Because <laughs> Ky Kaiser mess Kaiser put on Are you sleeping? <laughs> it's going to be a very fast paced stream, you think? Okay, that's probably the best. <laughs> Okay, we are in a new area. Look at my ship. That's a cool looking ship, isn't that? Have they got the same... Look at that, they haven't even got the same... Have they got the same wearing on each side, or is it is it different? It looks a bit different, doesn't it? Maybe this... Sure. You're at risk of going to be part of the f of the famous meme. <laughs> oh, why have I got an exclamation mark over here? What's this for? Hmm. Let me save before I do that. In case I blow up my ship or something. Oh, right, I can I can fly back to different places. Okay. Um, why have I got pink glowy footsteps? Draven played Xenoblade Chronicles for twelve hours and fell asleep on stream. Great entertainer. <laughs> yeah. I was I was so tired that day, and, uh, and just the cutscenes just. There was just so many of them back to back. Anything hiding under here? No. Okay, we've got a portal over there. Resident sleeper. <laughs> Right, I feel like that one is probably the last one to go to. Let's try this one. No, it doesn't do anything. This one obviously doesn't do anything yet either. That's some place looking in there. I hope that's not like some big robot that's going to rise up out of the ocean. And that's like his shoulders, either side. 
was just gonna say we've got Baron Baron's gone into his basket. He's over there. Fast asleep. Keeping out of the way. Basket Baron, yeah. He's been a good boy. We've got that purpley glow everywhere, don't we? I wonder what Helganquil civilization was like at its zenith. I can imagine that'd be something you'd take an interest in. There's no question it must have been advanced like none either world has ever seen. We could surely stand to learn a thing or two from such a people. I get that you're itching to delve into its history, but we've got bigger fish to fry right now. Put a pin in it, and you can do all the research you want when you retire. I can think of worse things than a retirement dedicated to research. As for whether Rena is amenable to an aging specimen... It's a little early to be giving it serious thought just yet. A man can dream, though. A man can dream. Oh, we didn't say there's anything wrong with dreaming. It worked that time. Dreams have a habit of spiraling into something else. You'll need to stay with us for now, though. You're too helpful to let retire. Why do I feel this is less of a compliment and more of an ultimatum? Just a friendly suggestion. Hey! Hey, I just realized something! Is this about dinner last night? I didn't realize those ingredients were off. <laughs> what? No, I mean, wait, you fed us rotten food? Rinwell, the point. Hmm? Uh, oh, yeah, right. So I was thinking about those armored soldiers we've seen. There are regular Renans inside them, right? Yeah, they're designed to make whoever's wearing them stronger. At least, I think that's the idea. Right. So it kind of begs the question, then. Why are they made so huge? I don't know, makes them more intimidating, I guess? Or maybe all that tech wizardry inside takes up a lot of space. You don't think it's weird how the armored soldiers are the exact same height as the Hell Ganquil? Can't say I'd ever noticed it till now. And? Connect the dots, Law! Okay, let me get this straight. You think the armored suits might have originally been designed to allow Renans to work alongside the Hell Ganquil? Huh. But if that's true, what would that mean? It would mean... just that, I guess. But still, don't you think it's kind of interesting? Oh. Not... hugely? <laughs> hey, Kisara, well, I've got you. What's on tonight's menu? Because I was thinking, maybe meat? Get him, Hoodle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, oh, what did I do? Oh, now you want to listen. Keep pecking, Hoodle. Uh, ow, ow, ow! Seriously, what the hell? <laughs> I've got another skit, but we'll move on, Aribe. It looks like eyes above the door. Oh, oh, some action. Helganquil. Guess they don't need their red woman disguises anymore. Wait, can you understand us? It's no use. We're not going to get through to them. So they really are being controlled. In that case, we've got no choice. <clears throat> uh, where did the other three come from? Oh, those spinny things are... Oh, 
Oh, it didn't work. Oh, it did. Here we go. Whoa. He hasn't done Flame and Pillar before. Oh, so that those wings must seem to get in, seem to get in the way of either ones on Shiona. Yeah, I put them on her. I could take them off again. I just thought they looked pretty pretty on her. They were on the side of Balky, just hanging, hanging there for the life of them. Rimwell needs healing. Whoa. Oh yeah, they blow up when you're killing them. Seen. Alfin. Surprise, surprise. I can't forgive them for what they've done, but I hate killing them. They don't even know why they're fighting. How does that even make them any different from the Danon slaves? Perhaps. However, if we don't make a choice, the What time are you starting streaming, Metro? Much worse. Yeah, I know. I hate for it to be like this, but if it happens again. You won't find me hesitating to act. I wonder if we're going to get attacked again. Two hours and twenty-two minutes from now. Not that you're counting, okay. <laughs> we have to stay the course. Um what was I in here for? Oh yeah, skills. Somebody got enough points. There. Um, might go for that, although it's quite a lot of points. Mm, go for that one. Faster magic charge, let's go for that. Okay, what's down here? Big, a big glowy thing. Oh, they're purple this time. I've got another skit. You know, guys, when you think about it, we've taken out a lot of Zoogles. Like, a whole lot. You can say that again. If one thing's for certain in this world, it's that wherever we go, we'll always end up bumping into them. Isn't it weird that they're still so plentiful? You don't think the Renans have, like, a ranch where they breed them, do you? Certainly in all of my years, I've never heard of them constructing such a massive facility on Dana, let alone up in Lenigus. The only thing I can think of, then, is that the Feral Ones must be reproducing on their own. There's also no organized effort on our part to hunt them down, so it's difficult to fully exterminate them. Exterminate them? Whoa, don't you think that's maybe a little harsh? What do you mean? Zoogles originally used to be living creatures native to Dana and Rena, right? Being genetically modified isn't their fault. You're right. Zoogles were only created because of us Renans. We altered the original creatures to suit our own ends. First people made Zoogles, and then we let them go. And now we're trying to kill them because they're a threat. They really have only seen the very worst, huh? I hope we find a way to be able to live side by side with them one day. 
It's a nice thought, but they attack towns and cities. What else are we supposed to do? Aside from the strays that have gone wild, it's worth remembering that Renans are able to keep them somewhat under control. If we had distinct territories that didn't overlap, that might reduce the danger they pose. Well, I guess when you look at it that way, maybe people and Zoogles aren't so different after all. Uh, I'll, I've got about another... Uh, an hour and 35 minutes. I need to stop about quarter an hour earlier than normal, because uh, I need to get all this cardboard um, ready for going to the recycling place, but... I thought there'd see be it. more dirt and rocks and stuff underneath the hollowed ocean, but it's all artificial. I would imagine they're remnants left behind by the Helganquil, seeing as there's little actual land remaining. It's incredible. Yeah, too many boxes arriving. Down to the center <laughs> of the planet? Hey, these guys built Lenigus, remember? They probably did this in a weekend. If they had the power to create things like this, did they really only use those immense capabilities to serve the Great Spirit? Or rather, was that the only use the Great Spirit let them use their capabilities for? We only get our, um... Let me go for a quick bio break and get some coffee. <laughs> While my adverts are on. I shall be right back. Yeah, back again. Get some coffee. Right, um, we're doing okay for CP. We've got another skip though. We haven't seen anyone here except Helganquil. Looks like this place really is their home planet. The true citizens of Rena. What a shame that they have become nothing more than puppets to the Great Spirit. To think of the promise their accomplishments once held. They had the potential to be great indeed. Do you think we could have got along with them? You know, if we had met under different circumstances, like... Like all of us, you mean? I suppose it's difficult to say for sure. We don't even know if they would see us as being on an equal level with them or not. I think we may have had the chance once, before the Renan Great Spirit came along and... changed everything. You and Alfin both share an optimism. A strong willingness to believe in hope. <laughs> Do you think that's foolish? On the contrary, I should like to take a leaf from your book myself. In tragedy's aftermath, hope is all we have. Yeah. We got purpley dudes. We're in for a long slog with this one. Now you see what I can do. Good shot. Tiger Blade! Huh? You picked the wrong fight! Is it in the Not sky? It's mine! Hurricane Blade! Okay, here I go! Look sharp! Water! Dragon Blade! You're mine! Here's your chance! Tiger Blade! 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 Tiger Strike up. No, we're gonna miss. We missed. Yeah, you said two hours twenty two. Yeah, don't get distracted and, um, Don't get distracted. I miss your own stream, Metro. Consider yourself finished. A chain between I'm going I can cross the This one's all mine. Yeah, you picked the wrong fight. <laughs> An hour and seventy minutes, okay. Oh well, I will um I will I will Make a note to raid you since it's your your anniversary. A grape gel. We've got another cutscene. 
Just look at the size of that thing. The Helganquil's technology certainly is impressive. And they don't seem to do things by halves, either. In the past 300 years. Oh, even before that. Just how many people, Renan or Danon, do you think have ever seen this? Regarding the past three centuries, at least, I'd say there's a good chance that we're the first. Also, while I get that it's impressive and all, I'm just amazed you're still standing around gawping at it at a time like this. Sometimes I wonder about your priorities. I can understand where he's coming from. More to the point, does anyone know where it leads? What do you mean, where it leads? I doubt if we're going to finish the, planet, of course. the main game today. I think it'll probably be tomorrow. Just a little bit, oh, I don't know, far. There has to be a quicker way to get there, right? Yeah. With all this technology at their fingertips, it seems pretty unlikely that they'd make that kind of journey on foot. There must be some kind of device somewhere. Let's see if we can figure out how to use it. I've never played that one. You're either brave or out of your mind. If it works for them, there's no reason it wouldn't for us. What platform did that come out on, Arachne? You know what he's like, Law. Once he gets an idea in his head, there's no talking him out of it. I wonder how the Renans avoided being mind-controlled like the Helganquil. Do you think it might have something to do with the fact that they were originally Danans? I'd say it's likely. Which is pretty ironic when you think about it. Ironic? The Renans have committed grave injustices against the Danans. But it was all of their own volition, not because they were being controlled. Now, it turns out they themselves were once Danans too. Which must mean that the root of their evil isn't the Great Spirit, but something inherent in all of us. Our free will. Now hang on though. It was that same free will that allowed Xion and Dohalim to choose to fight alongside Ah, okay. Without it, we wouldn't have been able to beat hatred and forge all those connections we've made. Free will is what saved us, right? Law's entirely right. In any case, it certainly can't hurt to look on the bright side every now and then. Yeah. Where there's hope, there's a way. <laughs> what do you say? He said... Without a doubt. I'll have to look to see if I can um, emulate that then. I wouldn't mind playing some of their <clears throat> earlier ones. Especially like the Abyss and all that. Which way did we come? Yeah, we need to go this way. I mean, I, I've enjoyed all the tales of games that I've played so far. Um, Is this a dead end? It appears this whole room functions as an elevator. That apparatus there is likely what's used to control it. Upper level 2F. Here we go. Whoa, we're under attack. Where did they come from? Less worry, more action. Concentrate. Get you on the ground. Thing. 
can't imagine what we do without you, Lenwell. Who, so me? That's a little much, don't you think? I'm serious. You're a lifesaver. Hey, I could do with a heal. Thank you. How many is there? Helps if you can get the strikes in. Naturally. As impressive as always. No, I, I mean you're even better than ever. I've never seen Sion actually look flustered. Coming through. Ha! No. Scarlet Inferno. Astral energy. Say no more. Do it. More. More. We need to get rid of the red dudes if they're summoning them or something. Not quite sure. Training is paying off. It was an yeah, interesting surprise. I remember was it Chrono Trigger had something similar? You went down on an elevator and you were attacked quite a few times on the way down. Might have been Chrono Trigger. Even in such a hot environment is this there are still creatures here you think they're native to rena or could they be zoogles somehow whatever they are they're dangerous watch yourselves around them yeah i'm pretty sure pretty sure there was an elevator scene because it took me by surprise being attacked on it um, i did enjoy playing that you think that pit stretches all the way to rena's core that's true. And if we go down, we should find the Great Spirit at the bottom. We could get there even faster if we simply jump down instead. You sound alarmingly serious when you say that. It's, it's, it's quite... The, the scale of things in this game, isn't it? It's just... It's, some of the places are just massive. Okay, I don't really like these fly things. I mean, we just got a few of them at a time. Okay, I just got two that time. That's fine. Don't be such a pessimist. 
One of the future timelines in Chrono, you've got the image in your brain. <laughs> Yeah, we should be able to handle three. We're in for a long slog with this one. Is he Spectacular the battles, but there's a lot going on in there. Everyone's still in one piece? Yep. I barely worked up a sweat. Uh, let's try and maybe just grab a couple of these. Or one. I've got a really bad feeling about this. Not today. I can handle no it further. Some power you wield. You're the one who did the heavy lifting. <coughs> okay, we should be. We can handle three. Uh, some people have got enough points for something. Uh, let's go and see who's got points you have. Uh, I think we'll go for that next. Is that everybody? 
there. Okay, so we can all the or over here. Right, so we've got we can go down. I think we should go through here first though. He looks pretty big. Okay, we usually can't split these guys up. Oh, we might be able to then. Oh, I can't get through the door. <laughs> Whoa. Let's get rid of this duty first. Thank you for all your help. Please, don't mention it. I'm glad you know Oh, run right bells down. You have you have you're right. Thanks. You're I'll you. Look sharp. Lightning tiger blade. Okay, we got it. Right. Have you got more than one? Yeah, you do. Right. 